controversy is no stranger to Red Bull Racing, but this time it might just have crossed the line to protect their race and driver, Max Verstappen. In this episode, we're peeling back the layers on why Red Bull might have risked it all in Canada and how this decision reverberates through the F1 paddock because this story is packed with strategy, controversy and a touch of irony. So, what's the drama this time? In the Canadian Grand Prix, Sergio Perez spun out at, smashing his rear wing against the barrier. Instead of parking the damaged car, Red Bull instructed Perez to limp back to the pits, shedding debris across the track. The goal? To avoid a safety car that would jeopardise Verstappen's lead. The FIA wasn't impressed. Perez received a three-place grid drop for the next race in Spain, and Red Bull was fined €25,000. The stewards ruled that Red Bull knowingly put other drivers at risk by having Perez drive with a severely damaged car. But here's where it gets spicy. Red Bull's motorsport advisor, Helmut Marko, didn't hold back. He called out the FIA's inconsistency, recalling how Lewis Hamilton faced no penalty for winning the 2020 British Grand Prix on three wheels after a puncture. According to Marko, Hamilton's actions were just as dangerous, yet he went unpunished. Marco's comparison highlights the ongoing debate about FIA's consistency in enforcing rules. Was Hamilton's situation really comparable to Perez's or is this just a convenient deflection? Renowned F1 journalist Will Buxton weighed in, suggesting that Red Bull's tactics were dangerously close to crossing ethical lines. He compared it to the infamous Singapore 2008 incident, where deliberate actions influenced the race outcome. Buxton argued that telling a driver to break the rules to protect a lead isn't far from creating a safety car situation to gain an advantage. Buxton's criticism underscores a critical question. When does strategic brilliance cross into unsporting conduct? Is Red Bull playing dirty, or is this just strategic brilliance? The line between calculated risk and outright rule-bending seems thinner than ever. This controversy encapsulates the high-stakes nature of Formula One, where every decision can be the difference between victory and defeat. Were Red Bull's actions justified? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of motorsports.